That's it? That's mm -hmm. it, sir. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog from the great sunshine state of Florida. And the sun is out. Believe me, I got the garage door down. Um, it's a little bit chilly. Believe it or not, it's chilly today in Florida. Um, but today's video is going to be, you know, like on a something a little bit different topic um, other than cars. I try to bring you guys into the whole Mission Flyer um, world of, you know, not only cars, but my vlogs and about me as many of you guys know you know retired military this year so just bringing you into everything and of course with the main thing going on right now is the COVID-19 and the COVID-19 vaccine so I'm going to tell you why I personally decided to take the vaccine um, so I got my vaccine shot today and as usual you know if this is your first time checking out the channel um, definitely give me a thumbs up um, share the video and you know just let me know in the comment below that you liked the video or you didn't like the video so i'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and start talking about why i personally decided why the vaccine was for me um i said i've been in the military for a little over 20 years so i'm used to getting shots and vaccines and i've had anthrax typhoid, smallpox, all that um, different shots. Depends on what part of the world you were going in, you need a different shot. So I'm used to getting um, shots and everything like that. To even prove to you, I have my um, I have my shot records from when I first entered basic training. If you have any Air Force people on here, you'll re remember this, uh, what your shot records look like. So there it is, cover my social, but there it is, my shot records from when you came into the military, you're getting um, vaccinated, every deployment, make sure you're good to go and you're vaccinated. So uh, there it is. Um, what was, what year is this? Whew. October of 99. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't even know what these uh, were, but those are the very first I've gotten in the military and over the years, I've gotten numerous, numerous um, vaccines. As I said, depends on what part of the world I was headed to. Um, but specifically on the COVID-19 um, vaccine, the reason I get it, got it for me was because I have a, a pretty serious pre-existing condition. Um, a lot of the people on my channel know that I had uh, tuberculosis of the heart um, I contracted one on a deployment so um, I have a little bit of you know weakened immune system with that and I also believe in the vaccine system if that's a thing um, I'm not sure what the side effects of it's gonna be um, but I can say when I did take the I had to go nine months of uh, it's called INH treatment um, for the TB of the heart is very rare on this side of the world. So I had to do nine months, like 14 pills a day. Um, and all the side effects that could happen, I had. So like I had rashes from like my neck all the way down. Um, I lost feeling in my hands, feet. Um, I forgot what the other ones, I had some other ones. But those were the side effects and my infectious disease doc was like, we can't stop the treatment. He's like, unfortunately, the uh, if you stop the treatment, your other is going to be, your ultimate um, is going to be death because it becomes constrictive pericarditis at that time where it pretty much stops your heart from beating all the way. So um, I've had it all. So I figure why not if it was presented to me, I'm going to be able to go and get this vaccine. Um, I'm going to do it. Uh, so I got the vaccine today, as I said, is because I work on 
I still work on base. Um, and with U.S. Uh, Special Operations Command, they kind of want everybody to be um, vaccinated. And I have a mission essential job. So I do have to go to the office and I do have to work with other people. And I do have to have meetings to where I interact with other people. So um, it was a volunteer basis. It wasn't mandatory, but I volunteered and I got it. And I got the, um, today I got the what? I got the Moderna. So I got the Moderna. Moderna vaccine. Um, here is my card for the Moderna vaccine. So in 30 days, I got to go back. So February 11th, I got to go back and get my second one, or as I call it, my booster for my um, for my um, COVID-19 vaccine. As of right now, I don't feel anything. And I got it around seven o'clock this morning. Um, if you guys want, comment down below. In two weeks before I go back for my second shot, I can tell you if I experienced um, any of the side effects that's um, that's associated with the with the vaccine. So the side effects, expected side effects, could be pain, redness, injection site. I'm too dark to see any redness on my injection site. Um, tiredness, headache, muscle pain, chills, joint pain, and fever. Um, not everyone will experience these side effects. As of now, I hadn't experienced it. Maybe I'm over vaccinated over the year, so I'm used to it. The only one that really hurt, vaccine that really hurt and tingled like my entire arm that made my arm hurt was the anthrax and the booster. I had like 10 booster shots of, uh, of anthrax. That, that, that one hurt. Um, so if you have just those symptoms, you could just treat it with Motrin, call it vitamin M or ibuprofen. Um, and they usually that goes away in a couple of days. But I guess if um, if it's bigger than that, then outside of that, swelling of your neck, face, stuff like that, then of course you're gonna call 911. And also there's a CDC V-Safe program. Once uh, you're vaccinated, you scan this little thing and it kind of do, they'll do weekly checks on you via text message to see how you're doing, if you have any symptoms or anything that you could report. So that way you're actually tracking, they're tracking the progress or tracking the the side effect rate of the medicine with um, everybody that has taken it so far. So um, they'll do that. And then within the next, um, the next vaccine dose is in, it says 28 days. So I'll go back for my other one in 28 days. Um, you know, they gave you like a little sheet with all different kind of things. I'll just give you a few topics. What you should mention to your vaccination provider before you get vaccinated. Tell them if you have any illness, if you have fever, if you're breastfeeding, if you've already received the COVID vaccine, if you're pregnant or if you anticipate to become pregnant. I believe if you're pregnant or you want to become pregnant soon, they may tell you uh, to come back another time. And if you have any um, bleeding disorder or, or if you're on blood thinners, that stuff you, they have to know before they administer the, um, administer the vaccine to you. So um, as I said, with everything, people have allergic reactions to different medicine, some more than others. So it's gonna each come down to each individual, um, each individual person. So this is like the main one that everybody wants to know is the the remote chance of of the vaccine could cause severe allergic reaction. Um, usually, it's, usually it happens within a few minutes to one hour after getting the dose. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um, after you get the dose, you have to stay at the facility for a minimum of fifteen minutes before you could before they let you leave. So you have to take the vaccine. You sit down there and you wait um, fifteen minutes. Um, no less than 15 minutes before um, your release. Um, the major severe allergic reactions are difficulty breathing, swelling of your face and throat, fast heartbeat, bad rash, had that one, dizziness and weakness. As, as, as of right now, I haven't had any of those. Um, with any of those um, side effects, so I say it's my first day. Maybe I'll just have a delayed reaction. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I, Mission Flyer, got was got the vaccine. I'm vaccinated. Um, a lot of people are worried about the the speed of how it was done. Um, 
We're in the 21st century. We're sending private shuttles to space. We're supposed to get, you know, vaccine done um, fast. It's not like the polio. We're waiting years and, um, you know, for a vaccine. And of course, the whole world is working on, on this. So um, I'm going to trust it. Um, I'd rather have it than not have it. And, um, you know, because of my previous illnesses, um, I believe it was good for me. I'm not telling you to go and get it. This is just for me personal. Um, you just have to weigh the options of, you know, what you want, um, your pre-existing condition, and if you believe in it or not. And I, you know, I personally believe in it. So with that, I want to thank you guys um, for watching the video. Um, if you guys want me to check back, I'll check back in two weeks and let you know um, how I'm doing, how if I had any of the side effects, and then I'll let you guys know after, again, you know, of course, between a series of videos, my car videos, I'll let you know after I get my uh, second dosage. But for me, hopefully the good side effect, I'm going to see if it could uh, grow some hair back, you know, give me a little TWA teeny weeny afro that's all i'm asking that's all the side effect that i want from it um but as usual guys i said thanks for liking the video um if you did like the video thanks for watching the channel and um you know if this helped you forward it to somebody else um if you're on the fence you know just do your research and do what's right for you and your family and definitely um subscribe to the channel it's not a medical channel. I'm just, you know, giving you a vlog. It's mostly cars and car reviews and stuff like that. But if you like it, subscribe to the channel. Um, hit the bell icon for future uploads. And stay safe. Maintain your social distance. And I look forward to having a great uh, 2021. Peace. I don't know what sleep is. I got a queen. She lit me the evening. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me the snippet. You well overdue for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a smurder. She wrote it. Still up with courage. You're doing a service. Pull up to the crib. I'm equipped with the brush strokes. Cut throat from the low, low. Where no love goes. Women, buddy, buddy.